right, so I um, I have the windows shaped here, and I've applied some some uh, to me a white putty, and I'm gonna kind of sand this down and smooth it out. So what I'm trying to do here is just get this uh, putty flush with the body and uh, we'll worry about the final shaping of the windows in a little bit because I have to actually produce the windows and I can't fit them until I've actually made them. Got some areas where I can see the ridge still, and some little areas that are not exactly like I want them. So, good time to use the paste mixture. And this is uh, to me a white. Just like I've got the, um, the squatter green and white in a little tester's spare bottle. I've got some Tamiya White too. So I'm going to use this to apply right along in here. So that needs to be thicker. There, right there. I might have to do this a couple times. That's what it takes sometimes. It's all about being patient. All right, what we have here is the rare and highly sought after Mattel Vacuform machine. And um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to Vacuform copies of the Ravel windows and use them uh, in the monogram orbiter. And I'm going to shape the window openings on the monogram orbiter to match up with these Vacuform copies of the Ravel windows. Okay, so we're gonna put the plastic in uh, right here. Okay, then I'll bring this over to hold it in place. And you really have to push hard on this because you want the little pins in here to puncture the plastic and hold it in place. Otherwise, you'll never get a good seal. Now I'm going to move this like this so you can see it a little better, hopefully. And we're going to wait about five minutes for that to get hot. Okay, it's been about uh, five minutes. And the plastic I have here is a little bit uh, thicker than what comes uh, with the kit. But the original kit plastic is, um, the sheets are, are difficult to get a hold of. So I've got something aftermarket which is a little bit thicker, so you have to heat it up a little bit longer. So whatever you use is going to, you just gonna have to see what it takes. So we're going to go ahead and get this going. You have to work really fast and hold down the uh, handle here to get the best vacuum. So here we go. See it's sucking down there good. Alright, let's open it up. Well, in fact, it worked so good that it molded the. <laughs> the 
is right into the plastic. There you go. All right, one set of uh, Ravel Orbiter windows. No problem. All right, so the vacuum from windows. Um, I'm going to go ahead and basically cut them out uh, individually, and then I'm going to use um, each one and just manually shape all these window openings. So that's going to take me a little bit of time to do. Alright, so I've done lots of shaping um, around the windows here, and um, I think I'm down to the point where all I need to do is just smooth out this um, this last layer of putty, and it should be go uh, good to go to um, to put in the actual window transparencies. Originally I'd put in um, Tamaya white here, but that proved uh, difficult to sand, and then I went back over with some green to help shape it a little bit, uh, make it sand a little bit easier, and then, um, and then some white here finally. The tamaya goes on really smooth and really creamy, um, but again, you know, it's more difficult to sand, and I, I, I just that bothers me for some reason. I just find the squadron uh, stuff, the white or the green, easier to work with. Yeah, you get air bubbles. Yeah, it can be a little bit grainy if it's dry, or if it's um not completely. Um, it's not completely, you know, wet like when you first open a brand new tube, but you know, it just works for me. And to each their own. I know some people can't stand it, but. Well, um, I've been working for a while, and I the vacuformed uh, Ravel windows. I masked, and then I attempted to install them here. And even though I worked quite a long time on trying to shape the windows um, openings to match the actual windows, uh, there's still there's still a gap uh, around most of them. They still won't fit as good uh, as I would like them to fit, and they just don't look good enough um, for me. And uh, I'm really at a loss as to what else I can I can do with this as far as the windows go, except to just fill all this in and use um, a decal to represent uh, the windows. So um, that's a compromise. Um, live and learn with this kit. Um, if I were to do it differently, you know, I've got some ideas about uh, if I were to do it over, what I would do differently. But it's kind of too late here now with this one, so I just kind of have to salvage what I can salvage. And uh, it won't be too bad, you know, I'll just have have uh, some dark uh, blue windows in here. And then, uh, you know, we have decals all over the rest of the orbit anyway. And it'll still look good, but just um, just not quite, quite what we were looking for um, when we started out. Okay, so I've got um, sheet styrene all in here now. And uh, so the only thing I can do is uh, putty this all up sand it down and then um, use decals or a paint mask or something to try to 
try to get this sorted out. So it's not really what I wanted, but you know, you live and learn. I made a number of mistakes here, but you know, you don't really know any better sometimes. So it's going to take a lot of putty. That's all right. Good thing is, we know what not to do next time. Have a couple more of these kits and uh, may have occasion to do them. If I do, then hopefully I'll be able to do this a little bit better. But we're not going to let this hold us back. We're going to go ahead and and keep going and try to get a quality result out of this. Uh, even though this windows may not be exactly what we want, but it's a lot more to this kit than just the windows. I said before that this was alcohol, it's not alcohol, it's actually acetone, which is why it's so strong here. And I should be a little more careful. Okay. I'll smooth out the putty, but if you let it drip down the side like I just did, then um, yeah, it can cause some damage. 